A school district's new policy on grading is getting extra scrutiny from some parents. Parents in Mustang schools tell us a new policy to heavily weigh test scores, opposed to homework, is not helping their students make the grade. News 4's Taylor Mitchell looked into the policy and how it compares to other school districts. To make the grade at Mustang High School, daily work is now worth 20% of a student's overall grade, while tests and exams make up 80%. One parent we talked to is alarmed and believes students who are not good test takers are being set up to fail. The test grades are plummeting that grade even more. Angela Axtell tells us her son has ADHD and is on a school plan for students with disabilities, but she says none of his accommodations include any help for test taking. She says before Mustang's grading policy went into effect, he averaged A's, B's, and C's. Now you can see there are three D's and only one A is a gym class. Angela says she's prepared to take her son out of Mustang High School. He was doing great last year and this year with the work, he doesn't do well on tests. However, with this change, the school is requiring teachers to give at least a minimum of one test redo, no matter what grade the student receives. They have the opportunity to retake that assessment with a qualifier, they have to show that they've done something to learn the material. But Angela also worries that just passing a test does not mean students are absorbing the material. They just have to pass the test is like telling them they don't have to work Monday through Thursday, but on Friday when the boss wants something turned in, that's when they do all of their work. Grades should reflect what a student knows. To compare, Edmond Public Schools tell us, while we do not have a district-wide mandated waiting schedule, we do require teachers to have the same grading scale if they are teaching the same grade level subject. In Mustang, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. And the Mustang School District will be comparing grades from last quarter to this quarter to see the difference in grading policies.